All right, guys, here we are in Cloud Kingdom, and up at the top part of it in the purple, representing it's Gosu. It is a Stoji. And down at the bottom left part in the red, representing Caronte Esports, taking out Gosu Kingdom last game, it is Alistor. All right, so Alistor taking out his uh, Korean Protoss opponent now. He has a very, very good Zerg player on his hands, and we'll see what both these players opt uh, for here in a bit. You mentioned this being a very interesting map for yeah. uh, ZVZ because, you know, I've seen games tend to go past that Zergling, Baneling, Tug of War, and we tend to get mm -hmm. well-developed macro games on this map. Oh, definitely. It's it's a it's a map where your natural expansion is oh. relatively well defendable. Um, what? What is it? Astoji's got a nine pool. Oh, it is a nine pool. All right. Oh, thank you. Yes, oh, we saw there, before yeah, the map there's ping. All right, great. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> excuse me. So Stoji does indeed nine pool, and will it just be a straight up nine pool, or will it be maybe something with gas? Well, we'll have to kind of wait and see here. It doesn't look like it will be, but um, so nine pool. If Alistar decides to hatch first, it could certainly do some damage. If Alistar goes some, for something like uh, fourteen gas, fourteen pool, may not work out quite as well. And he is going to go fourteen gas, fourteen pool. So. He should have, uh, you know, his spawning pool on the way, should have enough drones to kind of be defensive with mm -hmm. that. And so Astoji will start this game a little bit behind unless he can do some damage with these links. Oh, well, he's going to need to do that very, very quickly here. Yep. The uh, spawning pool pops up. He has just enough to start those uh, four links. And there's the six as soon as the next larva pops out yep. as well. It's going to be a while before Alistor is able to pick up on this. His own spawning pool is on the way, but it's still 40 seconds from completion. Yeah, the nice thing about going 14-14, I mean, it's it's like the safest ZVZ opening in, in you know, my experience from talking to people from playing it a lot. Um, you, you just, if they do something like this, 9-pool, 10-pool, the Zerglings get there, like, right around the time your spawning pool finishes, so then you just have to kind of micro your drones for, you know, just as long as it takes for the Zerglings to come out, and then you're usually just fine. So we'll have to see. It, it, it does depend on control. You know, obviously, if you control your drones badly, you're going to lose a lot be behind but oh yeah in this case i mean the queen the lings already coming out yeah. for alistor so yeah stoji might be able to pick up a few drones you always try to you know do as much as you can with this but you know it's going to be a little bit of a little bit of a um a little bit of a drawback for him here. All right. Well, Lings yep. are just about to pop up for Alistor as well. So there he's we go. already engaging with those. He hasn't taken yep. any drone losses. He can pull those off the line and start to attack as well and won't really have to worry about all that much. Is he going to lose a drone? No. As Doji stopped by the Lings up at the front. More coming out now uh, for Alistor as well. And we'll see. He's not mm. lost any of his drones yet, I don't believe. Mm -hmm. Taking a look at the units. Have, yeah, still 15 to 14 drones at the moment. Yep. With the Queen out now, it should be fine. Um, so basically, now now, Alistor has, you know, I, I'm not going to say a big drone advantage because it's easy for Ostoji to just make a couple and catch up in this case, but the big thing here is the tech advantage. Alistor is going to have Zergling speed much, much, much faster than Ostoji does, yeah. and when that happens, it's going to be very difficult for Ostoji to do things like expand. Yes. Um, so basically, in, in this case, you can try to expand, but a lot of Zergs, if they nine pool and it doesn't work out, will just try to do some sort of like one base baneling. So we might see a Stoji kind of switch into something like that uh, just because you can't, you know, fight on all the fronts you need to when your opponent has speed with their Zerglings and you don't. It becomes very, very difficult. All right. Well, Stoji backing up now to uh, to his main. He does have mm -hmm. a spine crawler on the way as well, starting to build and creep down towards that natural. Two gas for a Stoji. Yes, that, yes there is. And uh, as we can see, the uh, Zergling speed's already over halfway done now for Alistor. Mm -hmm. Yep, and he can expand just fine too. He knows he can defend that expansion. Um, and just not be aggressive if he, wa if he wants to as well. It's a fine choice. Uh, and I'm curious to see if Astoji is just going to use both these gas to get the gas quicker for Ling speed, or if he's going to go for something a little bit different. He does have that Evo chamber too, so... We're going to see a very interesting build, actually, from Astoji. I'm really curious to see how this all turns out. This is a little bizarre, yeah. yeah. I think he's going to go Roach for... Warn. Oh, Roachworn. Okay, I thought maybe it was going to be plus one Carapace so that his Zerglings would take two hits from Banelings, possibly, but... Um, no, it's going to be uh, actually maybe a, just a very, very fast plus one roach push off of uh, one base from Astoji. So, yeah, but Alistor already yeah. has his roach horn coming up as well. Both these guys uh, bypassing defensive bane links or anything along those lines. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, second base finishing up now for Alistor. So we will be able to kick his production into high gear. Yep. Uh, he is down in workers overall. But, of course, you already mentioned, oh, well, now tied in a little bit ahead. Uh, yeah. But you mentioned the tech advantage. He has his Zergling speed finished up. That's going to be a pretty big benefit as well. Right. Astoji trying to expand now. Uh, and a Zergling actually got into the main. I wonder if it saw the roach horn. Um, I believe see. it did, yeah. I, I saw the Zergling stain, and, and there it is. Yeah, I saw pretty much everything. 
knows that there's going to be a very pl fast uh, plus one coming. I like that Astoji has decided to expand with this, though. Um, he knows his opponent is playing a little bit more defensive that he expanded, so that does give him a little bit of time to try to put up his natural as well. So Astoji definitely not out of it yet. You know, you, you have a, that slight disadvantage, but it's not like the game is over or anything like that. We're still going to see, you know, a relatively normal ZVZ from this point on. Yeah, certainly not, but Alistar still does have a big advantage, though. Um, as we can see, oh, Matt Pinger, yes, there is layer tech coming out. Thank you. Oh, um, wow, that's fast. <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, Alistar now up by eight workers. Um, yep. Yes, he doesn't have any roaches out there quite yet, but his layer tech's not far behind his opponent. His plus one weapon's not far behind his opponent. He already has that second base finished up. He's already utilizing the production from it, and he can start to kind of hit the gas and go into unit production anytime he wants. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty defensive as well. And you can see that Lings without speed, they just cannot get a lot of scouting done as well. But Stoji doesn't care. He's going to probably go for Roach speed pretty quick here and just try to get any advantage any way he can. He does reveal to his opponent that there is no Ling speed, though, um, and that that's not oh, yeah, going well, to be a possibility. So Yeah. And let's see here now. Alistor sending out a few speed links just to go ahead and take a look around his opponent's base. Still very, very defensive, but uh, now on almost 50 workers. Well, hmm. What's the worker count again right now for each of these guys? 47 to 40. Okay, yes. As so. yes, we have extra gas coming yep. up now for Alistor as well. So uh, he's just finishing up his third gas. Stoji finishing up his as well. Uh, already moving into plus two weapons. Uh, both players have road speed hitting at about the same time. Uh, but now we start to see unit production coming out of Alistor. He's got his first seven. Now nine roaches coming up putting his uh, spine crawlers up at the front as well. So starting to hit, like I said, on all cylinders with unit production. Yep, in the meantime, Stoji taking a third. I like his choice to kind of just play this defensive. Um, and a ZVZ, you just really can't get in there and attack enough. You know, he knows yeah. he's not going to have a unit lead. He knows he's not going to be able to outproduce his opponent because of the economic lead. So yeah, why not just take third, play defensive? He will have plus two a little bit faster, so that'll help as well. But it's all going to come down to uh, kind of positioning, and this is a this is why I like ZVZ on this map because it's it's interesting to see players kind of wrestle with that choice of what ramp to move up. You know, the natural, the third. Uh, we see a lot of European Zergs like Nurcio, for example, Nurcio and Stefano like to just go lots and lots of roaches and attack in multiple places at once. Yeah. So I'll be curious to see if Alstor decides to go for uh, something like that here. Uh, but no, actually, both players putting up infestation pits right now. Yeah, okay. but Alistor still just a little bit ahead in every respect now. His third base finishing before his opponent already starting an extra queen as well. He is back just a little bit on upgrades, but as we can see, he has six more workers. He has a greater roach count. He has Zergling speed if he needs to flood him with Lings afterwards as well. He's up by 15 supply overall, and that is pretty critical in a uh, in a mirror match. And look at this. Stoji going to move up before his plus two finishes, so he's actually on equal upgrades with his opponent, and gives three um, three roaches to Alistor. Mm -hmm. Yep, not quite sure why he pushed there. Uh, plus two is getting close to done, but not yeah. quite done yet. So a bit of uh, anti-timing there a little bit for Astoji. Uh, Alistor going for Nidus, <laughs> interestingly enough. Yeah. That's the second game in a row we've seen him build a Nidus network, so I wonder if he'll actually get to use that this time, or uh, you know I, what he's kind of planning with that. I like it. I think they're underused. Um, so it, They'd be a lot better if there wasn't the big sound that happened when they yes. popped out. You know, it, I think we'd see him used a lot more then, but you know, until they get rid of that, it's, it's going to be kind of a gimmicky thing. Um, huh. Okay, so... Yeah, I, I'm really curious to see what he's going to use with that Nidus Worm because uh, Astoji has pretty good coverage with everything. Um, there's not a lot of places like in the main or by the third that he can really Nidus in. I think he might just use it to kind of transport units quickly, possibly. All right. Well, we do have a Nidus Worm coming up, as I was about to say. Yep. As, uh, yep, thank you very much, Matt Pinger. Uh, so that's on the way well, now, but out. we can see, though, for, uh, for Astoji... You know, he is uh, still back just a little bit, back by six workers. And now his units are pulled a little bit out of position. This is going to start doing a little bit of economic damage. If he can get the hatchery, it would be very, very good for Alistor. Yeah, hatchery down to just half it. health, and it is going to fall. Yep, hatchery will get taken out, no problem. So as you way out of position with those roaches, and uh, Alistor is just going to hop right back in the Nidus Worm. Yeah, that's that's exactly how you want to use it, just kind of get your units around the Ooh. map quick. And he picks off really well faster then. as well. Yeah, so uh, Nidus Worm goes down but serves its purpose very well done there by Alistor and uh, yes that makes him a little bit back in supply right now but the effects of this are going to be felt for a very very long time he'll be able to rocket ahead in unit production very soon mm -hmm. 
Yep. Now, one thing that Asoji has kind of had going for him all game is his upgrades. He's always yes, been a little bit ahead much. in the upgrade department. Still continues to be just slightly ahead here. So, and that's kind of why we see Alistar kind of avoiding straight up fights. I think he knows he's a little bit behind in upgrades. So, if he can do kind of these little guerrilla maneuvers, it'll kind of go a long way in keeping him in the game, holding his opponent back for sure. And uh, right now, actually, we've got a, a pretty even game on our hands, honestly. I mean, the slight upgrade advantage is kind of making up for the fact that Astoji's taking some, taken some hits in the uh, economic department. You know, worker-wise, 66 to 57 isn't really a big difference. You know, early on in the game, that many workers makes a huge difference. At this point, it's not quite as big of a deal. Yeah. More a big of a deal that he can't mine from his third base for a little while. Yeah, exactly. That's really going to give a supply lead for Alistor, but... Um, yeah, it could go either way. All right, well, Lestoji is uh, going to force a cancel on that base. We'll see if uh, Alistar brings all of his units back and wants to engage that head on or not. Or it looks like he's content with maxing out, which he is about max now. Now going to move up. Uh, he takes a pretty good fungal from Astoji. Astoji doesn't have hmm. a ton of investors uh, left over, though. We'll see. This is a pretty good engagement for Astoji. I have yeah, to say no he kidding. has a better concave. He's able to push down a lot of these units. Brilliant engagement from Astoji there. Alistar, uh, unfortunately, had the... Uh, the more units there and more investors, but had mm -hmm. a terrible angle of engagement. Yeah, one of the dangers of this map is those ramps. Another Knight is coming up here, but I think Astoji might have an idea this is coming. Yeah, he does spot it with that Overlord. And so this one isn't going to work out quite as well as the last one did for uh, Alistar. No, but it looks like yep. it's pulling units out of position, allowing Alistar to move through the middle of the map, which is uh, kind of cute. Um, that's actually kind of an interesting use of Nidus Worms. Maybe that wasn't the best example of it, but just uh, speculating, you know. Um, it makes that sound. People freak out about it, send a bunch of units yeah. and go take care of it. And no, nope, I'm just using that to pull your units out of position. Oh, you saw Stoji didn't quite fall for it either. Right. He only attacked with three roaches and kept the other ones in the middle between his third and his natural. So... Good response there. Stoji with a little bit of a lead here, but Fungals tend to change that. Oh, losing an Infester there. Yeah. Yep. Does... Okay, I was about to say, you know, I hope Stoji has Burrow, and he doesn't yet. He's getting it now, so that's good. I mean, if you take a Fungal like that and you can just Burrow it, it really uh, negates the effects of it rather quickly. Hive on the way for Alistar. Yes. Very cool. I wonder what we're going to see out of that for him, because he hasn't put down a Spire quite yet. And he hasn't decided to move into uh, plus two Carapace as well. So yep. conceding a little bit of an upgrade advantage. Looks like he's going to run on by now. Try and start doing a little bit of economic damage. He uh, plugs the ramp a bit. And the investors yep. will be able to take uh, advantage of that if they Lots so desire. Fights and it going looks on. like they are. Yeah, two things going on at the same time. We as we have a fight over on the left-hand side of the map as well. It looks like Astoji should be able to clean that up. He does have the superior upgrade. Starting to force yep. those units back. However, Alistor huh. did get in and uh, stopped mining for quite a while. Yeah, Soji should be able to clean that up. I think he transferred his drones to the third base, so he'll be able to come back there. But Alistar kind of trying to do that sort of European Roach CVZ style. That's not going to work. Um, where you just no. kind of try to attack on multiple fronts with a lot of Roaches. And if you're good at it, it becomes very, very difficult to deal with. So it's kind of cool to see Alistar do that. Did get that plus three missile attack started because he has the Hive out right now. I can't believe there have only been three workers killed this entire game. That seems I know. ridiculous to me. Yeah, both players are really good at just getting their workers out in time. And uh, looks like a mini engagement there, but uh, the Roaches for Alistar will eventually uh, mm -hmm. get pushed away and one even going down. So uh, Alistar now sitting on five bases, but he hasn't utilized these bases off to the right yet. They're finally transferring over some drones. Uh, his opponent, Astoji, on the other hand, doing mostly gas mining here more than anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more of the important thing, really, especially if you're adding on a lot of investors. You want to make sure you have the gas for that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're probably going to see him go for Hive pretty soon now that 2-2 is going to be done. And just more Roach is being added on for Alistar. That's basically about it. Just kind of concentrating on, like we said, just trying to attack in multiple positions, force his opponent's army out of where they need to be. And Astoji looks like he wants to get a bit, a bit aggressive. Oh, but the hesitancy is really going to cost him here, I think. Yeah, Good very fungles. much so. Uh, fungles on yeah. both sides, but the concave is a little bit better for Alistar here. He is down one upgrade, however, and some units for Astoji are starting to run around the outside. But the main engagement starting to go to Alistar. Will the reinforcements turn the tide, though? How much energy do the investors have? Basically none. That is really big. Alistar is going to be able to clean right, up that go. force. Yeah. Yep. And supply kind of evens up there. Not the best engagement for Ostoji. And with ZVZ, even if you have a little bit of an advantage in like upgrades or something, one bad engagement can really change the game. We saw Alistar get behind a little bit earlier oh, because of that. Oh, it's so smart. He moves towards his overseer and uh, picks off all of the investors. 
That's uh, pretty bad there for Astoji. It looks like he will be able to drive away the roaches that are up at the front, but now down by about 12 supply. And of course, that extra base not really being utilized for anything but production yet, but uh, Alistair does have that established. Yep. So this is turning out to be one of the uh, closest ZVZs I've seen in a long time. I mean, the advantage has gone back and forth all game. And right now, it's still very much at a point where anyone could win it. You know, I mean, it's kind of almost like Marine Tank TVT, where people are looking good. You're looking at the upgrades a lot. But then there's one engagement. It ends up very bad for one player. And yeah. then the game just kind of ends. So that's it's kind of a similar situation here. The game is going to kind of persist until that one very lopsided engagement that will happen, kind of inevitably. Yeah, I mean, Astoji was uh, pretty fortunate to receive one of those before, but wasn't yeah. able to hold that advantage, unfortunately. But uh, uh, now taking a look around, it looks like finally some mining being done down at the bottom right-hand corner. So Alistor is starting to take advantage of that uh, for resources as well as production. The income rates for these two players in favor of Alistor. Of course, he does have plus three weapons because his hive tech was done. Uh, his opponent going to be stuck at 2-2 until he decides size some more from that hive. Mm -hmm. Yep, and uh, Alstar really needs to make sure that he doesn't lose bases. He needs to kind of keep that advantage because that's the big thing that he's got going for him right now is Astoji has not been able to take a fifth yet. Whoa, pretty good fungal huh. pinning down a couple of infestors of there. Infestors. Astoji wow. has a pretty good engagement, but will the infestor numbers for Alistor be enough? Whoa, actually two full infestors going down, but it looks like Alistor has just barely enough to start fighting this back. It was a good engagement for Astoji, and he was able to pick off some very valuable infestors and get away with his own first now. Yep, that was uh, actually a great engagement for us, yeah. Doji. He lost mostly roaches, where his opponent lost a lot of roaches and some infestors as well, but you know, he really needs to start doing something about thinking about taking a fifth himself or denying yeah. a base of his opponent. We can see he tried it there, but didn't work out quite as well. And this fight, oh no, still your infestors, why? Yeah, one infestor Oops. goes down, lands a couple of fungal growths though, and with reinforcements, looks like he is able to slowly start pushing this back. Does yeah, have I a think pretty... he's actually got the momentum now. Yeah, it does have a pretty significant supply advantage at this stage in the game. Alistar trying to, if he can get up those five infestors, what he really needs to make a stand. So still, is he gonna go down to the bottom right, or is he gonna try and deny mining from the back here? Looks like it is going to be from the back ping and some investors. Yeah, he needs to move those to the front, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> That'd be good to do. Okay, well, it looks like uh, Alistor going to uh, slip on by for a little while and uh, taking a look at his opponent's side of things. Yeah, just sitting on those four bases. Astoji not felt confident enough to take a fifth base, but like you mentioned before, definitely needs to start doing that now. Trying to kill the fifth from oh. Alistor down to the mm -hmm. bottom right-hand corner, just prioritizing the hatchery down to 200 hit points, and he is forced to burrow. Uh, all right, well, we'll see how it goes. Oh, here we go. A lot of roaches going in, attacking on multiple different fronts. Fight in the middle here, and he's done such a good job of keeping his investors alive all game. That's been helping a lot. He's going to get one hatchery at yeah. least here. Yeah, that one yep. falls down. The uh, roach is sitting in the back as well, trying oh, nice. to take out a couple of workers. Astoji now up by a considerable amount of supply, yeah. and I don't know if Alistor is going to be able to come back from this. You know, even though Astoji was on less bases and got off to a rough start, the thing that he really did well was take that risk to go for the upgrades. It was a risk, but it paid off. Yeah. And uh, in the later parts of the game, he did a great job of keeping his investors alive. You know, I mean, it really shows you just how valuable that is. You don't have to spend yeah. a gas to replace them. And, you know, you just kind of always have fungal growths when you need them. Whereas Alistair was in a lot of positions where he could have used it and just didn't have it because he lost those infestors early on. Yeah, he's really got to transfer those drones over to his opponent's base. But uh, to his now, opponent's base, that'd be a bold place. Or to, to his opponent's, to his, <laughs> I'm like, sorry, to his fourth base. My I, apologies. I guess that's I nice of him. <laughs> <laughs> just, just go gift those drones but to him he now. He needs to do All that. All is lost. It's, it's done. You might as well bias. just go. Yeah, just a, just a little bit. Sorry. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so 184 supply to 129. Astoji with a huge advantage uh, right now in this game. Had a couple of very nice engagements towards uh, towards the end there. It's really swung things decisively in his favor. Alistor yep. trying to hang on to whatever he can, but uh, he has not moved his drones over, you know, to his opponent's base or to his fourth. You know, he, he hasn't done either of those. So. Astoji needs to get mo a little bit more aggressive here. Yeah. Um, he's got the supply lead for now, but that can change. Oh, wow. Free investor there. But, um... Yeah, I, I feel like he needs to kind of push into that third and try to just end it because he's still not taking a fifth base. No. He's going to be running out of resources fairly soon. His opponent can still, you know, have the ability to max out. So, okay, this harassment is good. I mean, he's killed a lot of drones too. So even though he hasn't killed the third, he's really reduced the income from it. Yeah. So that, that does help. That does certainly help. 
All right. Well, oh, here, here we go. Now he's going to start dropping out a ton of infested, infested Terrans. Terrans. All right. Yeah, that's what he prioritizes the infestors uh, for Alistor getting in there and dropping down some fungal growths. But the roach numbers are starting to decline. It looks like Alistor is going to force uh, this down. He is going to take out the fourth base and GG. just end the game. There it is. GG.